bringing you inside of my DJ office. my friends I have a very special video for you guys because I am bringing you inside of my DJ office yes this big building that you see behind me is actually bar entertainment HQ no I am not lying to you this massive building is actually where my office is in today's video I'm going to be bringing you inside of the building and my offices and I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the behind the scenes that goes on before my events this is something that I've never shared with you guys before but today I am revealing it all so without further ado let's go inside and check it out this is a very technologically advanced building. We actually need key cards in order to get inside. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this nice and short because it's very echoey in here. This is the, the foyer or the lobby for the actual building. Now, I technically have two lobbies because the building has a lobby and then our office space has a lobby as well. Right behind me is actually a cafeteria where we can get food. I never actually used the building cafeteria, but they do have some good food in there. Right behind you guys is actually a computer that pretty much has all the businesses that are within here, so you can find their suite number. More key cards needed. Now the actual company that I rent my office from is called Regis and they're actually a huge company. They're all over the USA and I believe even the entire world. I'm actually at a location that's just like two blocks away from my house. Essentially what Regis does is they'll take a big building like this and they'll divide that chunk into multiple office spaces and basically sublet to even smaller businesses. Hey, this is just a quick heads up. This is actually me from the future. So all the footage that you guys just saw is actually from February. I shot this back in February and it is now May. And I was using a different camera, I was using a brand new camera, and apparently I didn't know how to use it very well because a lot of what I shot in here was totally out of focus. So I'm back in here and I'm reshooting everything for you. This is actually kind of worked out because as many of you guys know, the world in May is a lot different than what the world was in February. A lot has changed, so now I can give you a perspective based on current world events about my office. I'm gonna be jumping in and out between footage that I shot in February and footage that I shot in May, so just bear with me if the video is a little bit jumpy. I've actually been with this company for many years now. I actually signed with them back in 2017, and it was after a mobile beat. And I believe I saw a seminar by Joe Bond that just basically said that having an office just legitimizes yourself, especially if you're younger like myself. Having an office space really just solidifies that you are a serious business and not some kid that's working out of his garage or out of his bedroom or something like that. Especially here in New Jersey where there's a lot of big, heavy hit companies and it's relatively affordable I will say it really just depends on where your location is and how big the office you get like I personally don't even have a window in my office it's more or less a closet but it's relatively affordable especially if this is your first office I know it can seem a little bit risky like I said I've actually been here for three years and I re-signed back in January for another three years that's something that I actually learned too that uh, office buildings you have to sign really long leases I'm used to just signing one-year leases but I re-signed for another three years which is kind of scary because you know I had a great 2020 as far as bar entertainment goes we did a ton of weddings so when January came around it was time to renew you know I just went all in and renewed my office but now I haven't used my office since uh, I think the last meeting that I actually had was the first week of March and since then I haven't really been using it but regardless let me give you a tour so this is our main lobby here as you guys can see and one of the things that I love about renting office here is that I 
have a receptionist. I have a full receptionist that as soon as my clients come in, they welcome them right away. They'll usually set them right here and then they'll usually come get me out of my office now because of the whole crisis that's going on. They are working uh, less hours, so there's nobody here right now. But the receptionists that work here are great. The staff has always been really friendly, really nice to me. Now, something that I don't like is that Regis themselves, they do try to upsell you on a couple of things. And one of them being is this board right here. As you guys can see, there's many businesses, but Mar Entertainment isn't on here. And the reason why I chose not to get my name up here is because they do charge you monthly to have your name up here. And I was just like, that's dumb. I'm not going to pay monthly for a sign. But as you guys can see, there's all kinds of businesses here. There's lawyers, there's contractors, psychiatrists. Um, there's even been a producer here. Now back to the upsell thing. One of the things that I do love is this robot right here. So they do try to upsell you coffee, faxes, uh, a bunch of different stuff. But I pretty much went with nothing. I just wanted an office. I did, however, opt for the unlimited coffee so I can give all my clients coffee if they come in. And it'll pretty much make anything you want. Like for example, right now I want a cappuccino. Let me grab a cup. I'll just brew it. This thing is awesome. Definitely need one for my house. Ah, so good. Cappuccinos, coffees, lattes, hot chocolate, anything you can imagine, this machine will make for you. There's a ton of different add-ons that they have. Again, the only one that bothers me is the name on the board thing. I don't know why I have to pay a monthly fee. I'm okay with paying a one-time fee, but paying every month for my name to be up there is crazy especially when it's 50 bucks 50 bucks a month Netflix don't even cost that much now talking about prices it's actually relatively inexpensive it all depends on what office you choose you know there are some premium spots that people want. now I did have a $20 rent increase in January when I re-signed my new lease and that's pretty standard anytime you rent there you're usually gonna get a rent increase every year however because the leases are long-term they're three-year leases that you sign um, it's cool that you're locked in for that rate now um, um, again with this whole COVID crisis it's kind of a bummer because I don't necessarily know if it makes sense to keep this office because every month I'm paying for this office and I haven't been using it as of late now I obviously do have reserves I can keep this for a couple months but it just sucks that I'm pretty much just flushing money down the toilet because I'm not using it this situation is tough regardless I'm pretty happy with the services here at Regis the staff has always been friendly I'm really happy about the office everything's been great and uh, even this meeting area Area right here I've put it to good use I've actually had DJ meetups with some of my DJ friends and we sit here and basically trade music and talk about the business and stuff like that now we do also have access to boardrooms which I rarely take advantage of it's something that's included in my package but I never use the boardrooms. boardroom or convention hall as they call it here that is something that's separate from your office so you have to reserve it about uh, a day in advance or so as long as it's available they'll let you have it which I actually don't think anybody actually uses that Alright, so if we make our way down, you guys can kind of see that there are tons and tons of offices. We come down here, we of course have a vending machine for all your snack needs right there. We have a copy machine for all your copying printing needs. We have a paper shredder, recyclables, and a bunch of other office supplies that uh, I low-key steal sometimes. We come over here, we finally make our way to my office right here. Are you guys ready? It's showtime. Here we are, this is my office. I'll give you guys a nice quick little tour. As you guys can see, it's a little closet. It's nothing crazy. So the way the decor actually came about was actually uh, from Linda. I gave Linda a budget. I think I gave her like 200 bucks. And I basically said, hey, go find me some pictures, some posters, some things to decorate my office with when we first moved in here. So uh, I got that good vibes only and we got this cool rhino thing. I am thinking of getting 
rid of the rhino and doing another one of these big mosaic walls doing like a big wall of a bunch of weddings and events and setups that I've done uh, over the past couple of years she also bought that plant over there as well as this cool hashtag thing um, I don't really use it but um, it's basically a chalkboard where you can put the brides and grooms hashtag on there and on top of that I have this new pin board that I bought um, for saving my thank you cards that brides and grooms send me what I used to do is I just used to take the tip out and I would typically just keep them in my car until I decide to throw them away but um, I've since decided to start holding on to my thank you cards as you guys can see I don't have that many I've gotten many thank you cards over the years but uh, I've just either lost them or threw them out so now I am going to start saving them we of course have my chairs where my brides and grooms sit originally I had traditional office chairs in here but my mom gave me these two chairs so uh, they just look great here in my office perfect for brides and grooms they look elegant they're plush they're very expensive so uh, it just goes with our whole decor Regis actually provides you with furniture for your offices the only thing that I actually kept was my chair and the desk uh, I brought everything else in they're really cool about you painting the walls they're really cool about you drilling on the walls just don't go into the next office this is my desk it's decorated with a bunch of my wedding wire and not awards as you guys can see this is uh, the newest one that we got this is the 2020 best of not weddings we have the 2019s I have a lot more of the wedding wire ones because I've been advertising with wedding wire a lot more little thing with these it's kind of BS because you do have to pay for the award it's kind of dumb we have a TV where I run all the demos for my brides and grooms we actually run this TV completely wireless using this Apple TV so the Apple TV HDMI goes out up to the TV and then we wirelessly connect our screen so as you guys can see it's mirroring my laptop with no freaking wires we're living in the future and of course i have to put some sort of lighting because i am a dj over here i have an adj uh, i think this is a ub12 hex bar that i use to light up the back here file cabinet here where i have my printer on top i actually have two printers i have my main printer and a backup printer if this one is acting up i'll print out of that one if that one is acting up i'll print out of this one it never fails when i'm here talking to a bride and groom my dj event planner will log me out in the middle of when i'm speaking and then when I get to the contract, the stupid thing doesn't print. It never fails. It's so freaking annoying. Here we have my PayPal reader. Uh, most of my payments, believe it or not, are all credit cards. Very rarely do people pay me with checks. Um, and I kind of prefer it. Yes, I do get hit with the 3% fee that PayPal charges or whatever. But um, I just rather get the payment up front and just never have to worry about it. So um, this is a uh, PayPal uh, pay here or something like that. Behind that, I have some, behind that I have a fake plant that Linda bought me as well as that fake plant over there some office supplies these here are the photo booth prints that I show my brides and grooms to show them what the photo booth looks like keep some gum just so that my breath isn't kicking when brides and grooms are here is the remote I use to control this light here so if I press 2 I have the green I have the blue red um, I usually always keep it at uh, blue I have a little obsession with airplanes and travel, so I've got this nice little plane here that I love. This same wall, I have some gifts from clients um, and some stuff that I brought from my travels. I have this uh, tiki head. Forget what the meaning of this tiki head is, but uh, I got it in Hawaii. I also got some more tiki heads right over there. I got my Rick and Morty's over there, and I got some booze um, that I forget what client gave me this. I've never opened it because I don't drink, so it's just there as a decoration piece. Of course, the highlight of my office is the wedding pictures I have a wall of wedding pictures here and a wall of wedding pictures there clients love to see these photos I get so many compliments about these and I want to make this wall bigger so I actually got these made at Walgreens however there is a service called mixed tiles where you can get these way cheaper I got these made like three years ago and they were super cheap we're talking about like eight dollars a pop and like six dollars a pop for these smaller ones and now those are are like $20 a pop and these are like $15 a pop so it got way more expensive however at mixed tiles you can get these uh, a way cheaper however they're not gonna be as high quality these are very old believe it or not these are from 26 
17 or 16 and the best way to get nice quality photos like this is to actually work with your clients I usually email them and say hey I'm decorating my office can I have some of your wedding photos because I want to get you up here and they'll usually say hell yeah here's my photo library from my wedding and that's actually it my clients sit here I sit there I run my presentation on my MacBook wirelessly via the Apple TV to the screen that's a 50 inch TV by the way I have my light up a DJ UB bar I have my plant there my plant there my little knickknack so clients kind of get a gist of my flavor I love Rick and Morty I love travel so I have all that there and I also of course have my award so that they know that we are a badass DJ company DJ bar you all right guys so this is it brand new office I just signed this today. I'm very nervous and uh, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm very, very nervous about taking on an office, but you have to do it to grow. So uh, this is it, guys. This is my first official office headquarters of Bar Entertainment. And uh, yeah, hopefully because of this, I book a lot more weddings and a lot more events. Uh, and nervous and just want to thank you guys for joining me on this ride here we go guys here it is this is it this is my official office. so that's it right there this is my office 360 degree view right here whoa I'm getting dizzy so if you're a DJ and you're thinking about getting an office or you were thinking about getting an office before this whole situation and you kind of want some insight about whether or not to do it if you were to personally ask me if I regret getting an office I would absolutely say no I love having this office because I use it as more than just a place to meet with my clients. I also use it as a getaway. I'm much more productive when I'm in here in my office versus than when I'm at home. When I'm at home, the bed looks comfy. The sofa looks comfy. The TV looks entertaining. At the office, there's no distractions. Having a place of business just legitimizes you and your company. And it's awesome because your clients like having the peace of mind knowing that if you mess their event up, if you mess their wedding up, they have a place where they can go beat you up and send their cousins over to get your ass but in all seriousness when you do have a place of business your clients will respect that I do have to say I was very nervous when I first signed the lease to this office I didn't know if I was gonna be able to afford it and luckily you know the first year went by and I was like okay it's okay after the second year it just became a bill that I got used to paying it's a cool write-off too it does save you on taxes if you were to ask me would I have re-signed knowing that the COVID crisis was coming that's a tough question because ugh, I haven't used my office since March. Since the first week of March, I would even go as far as to say as February. I haven't used it since really February. Last time I was here was at the beginning of April just because I was doing my taxes. So that was the last time I was here. And since then, it's been just sitting here. However, before that, I was in here three, four times a week. I was in here quite a bit. Now, I don't use this at all. So... I don't know if I would have re-signed just because it's been sitting. I don't know how long this is going to go for. There's just a lot of unknowns. I don't know if it makes more sense to just take everything out of here, put it in my storage locker, and wait for everything to come back down. If this goes on for, I would say, six months where I'd never use my office, then I might have to consider, you know, closing it down. And, you know, my office isn't very expensive. As you guys can see, it's very small. It's not super expensive. It's manageable, you know. If it was something, like, crazy that was just undoable i would have closed the lease right away especially being that it's just me i don't run a big multi-op company it's just myself let me know what you guys have personally done if you guys have an office how are you guys handling it now so if you have any questions about my office leave them down in the comments below i'll be happy to answer them or if you have any questions about getting an office please don't hesitate to ask i'd be happy to help anybody out <laughs> lastly i do want to mention if you haven't downloaded my dj drops you can still do so the link is down in the comments below support my channel download the drops if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so that you've been notified next time we do another office tour video one day we'll own this whole building and i'll be giving you a tour of the building gotta dream big bro see y'all next time peace bye